Hi, I'm Jan, I'm from Pengotronics and we do embedded stuff and in that area I also work on RAUC and LabGrid and testing stuff and so on and security, yeah. But that's not the topic. Today it's about RAUC and updates with ComposeFS. So RAUC is basically an AB updater for embedded systems, but it's not just used for embedded systems. For example, the Steam Deck uses it, uh, Home Assistant uses it, and um, also really embedded systems like the IKEA Dirigera uh, Smart Home Hub. So they all use uh, RAUC. They didn't come to us, they just use it. So and it's written in C, uh, uses glib, OpenSSL, curl, and so on, uh, is LGPL licensed. And it's basically a um, tool on the host, which builds so-called RAUC bundles, which contain your root file system, bootloader, all the stuff that goes onto the embedded system. And it's all used on the target itself to install on the inactive slot in an AB system or ABC system or whatever you configure and then talks to the bootloader, switches to the other slot, reboots, confirms the boot, and so on. So that's classic AB stuff, and it does it signed, encrypted, and so on. So currently, we use it basically for um, root file systems, but people also want to use other stuff or deploy other stuff onto their systems, like containers, VM images, map data, if you build a navigation system, or neural network models, which are not really closely coupled to the root file system. So they could use a different uh, C library in a container case, or they don't link at all to the running system. So they usually have different release cycles. You want to deploy them on systems in the field without replacing the root file system. And there are also things that are more closely coupled, like systemd sysx or optional applications that just run on the libraries provided by the root FS. And these are not installed maybe on all systems, but only some of them, or maybe later installed as needed. So that's what we call in, in our model artifacts. That is different from the base images. So we tried different things to handle that, and uh, yeah, I think in last year I stumbled across uh, ComboseFS, which is basically uh, built on EROFS, OverlayFS, and FS Verity to build, uh, like Colin says, the reliability of disk images and flexibility of files. And there were two talks this uh, day already on, on which t touched this topic. So and basically, it's a content addressed store of file data and an EROFS image which contains the metadata and references this file content. So and it does that by hashes, FS very hashes, so it's fully authenticated in a way that, that DM Verity is also. So that gives us a deduplication on the disk, which is very nice because these embedded systems have usually very little space and people want to add stuff over time and so on. So reusing the identical content is very helpful and it also reuses um, the libraries and binaries in the page cache. So it saves RAM, saves uh, cache pressure. It's very useful on, on these small systems. And as I said, it does full authentication via the hash tree. So uh, just a quick summary for someone who hasn't seen ComposeFS yet. So basically, you have your file system tree on the left side, which contains directories and files. And you run MK ComposeFS, and you get this uh, uh, .cfs metadata image, which is an erofs image. And you get an object store, which are just files named after the hash with the content and no other metadata, so they all belong to root, for example. So in RAUC, we basically integrate that into our bundle creation. So you take a tar file for the artifact. It's automatically converted into a ComposeFS, packed into the bundle, and it, during installation, it's extracted as this uh, metadata image plus object store. And you can just mount it via the ComposeFS tools. So you can use it for system VM spawn containers, system extensions, local experiments, or you can do things like the Bootsy people take an inner drum FS which directly mounts this Compose FS and boots into this without fetching from containers, but the, the use case is similar. And we have future plans, like we could reuse matching objects from the root file system instead of downloading them. If they have the same hash, also share them with the page cache. Um, just have two object stores, basically, one the root file system and one in the writable integrity projected partition. Yeah. 
and um, you can delta do delta compression. That's stuff for later. So thanks. Thank you.